about um, this is called Chicago Chicago Thoughts Part Three from July uh, 2024. So I was uh, last night. I got to go to this like yacht party. So it's like on this like three story yacht in Chicago, um, and yeah, you know it was like four hours just just sailing on the water dancing, it was three floors of dancing, we were in like the VIP section, so we got to have, you know, different different refreshments, uh, food brought to us, so it was really, really kind of fun, um, yeah, there was even like a fireworks show, um, and yeah, you know, I was, I was kind of thinking, I was like, you know, if you do what's easy, then your life is hard, if you do what's hard, your life is easy, I'm going to give a really simple example of something that's hard that most people are not willing to do that would cause you to have success for like the rest of your career. So one of our students came into the program, uh, I like to say she, she took a vacation, but she came into the program like probably about like two weeks ago. So she joined for a week, took a vacation, and then she came back uh, the other day. So, you know, we were, we were talking and she's running this advertising campaign. Currently, right now, it's costing about two thousand dollars per client that she that she gets for her business. Now, that is that's a good start. It's not where you want to finish, right? For for accounting and bookkeeping clients, ideally, we try that number per client to about five hundred dollars per client, right? Because if you can get that, then all it takes is five hundred dollars times about twenty. Five hundred times twenty is about ten thousand dollars that you need to spend on advertisements, okay? Now, the cool thing about that is that if each one of the clients that need like a cleanup, it actually cuts down the number of clients you need in order to get to that $10,000 month mark. So really, you'd only need to spend about $5,000. Now, I know, I know, $5,000 at, at one time sounds like a lot of money, but we're not seeing it has to be spent over one time, right? That can literally be about one and a half dollars per day over the course of a year. Not bad, you know? What was that, 365? Sorry, not one. <laughs> what is that? It's about, because $100 a day is about 3000 a month, so you divide that by 10. So, sorry, it's about 10, 10 and a half, 15 dollars a day. I apologize for my bad math. I'm on, like, two hours of sleep. Because <laughs> we, 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 uh, yeah, we had to get back in the morning because I, uh, I have a rehearsal that I have to get to today. But uh, that's just where I'm going right now is this rehearsal. But, um, yeah. So, at first when I was doing her metrics, right, I was like, okay, so your current metrics, it's going to cost you $20,000 to be able to go and get $120,000 per year, right? It's 10K per month annualized, $120,000 a year. Now, if you told any person that trades like stocks that they can get a 500% return every time they put a dollar into this magic money machine, they would hold you at gunpoint and they would force you to tell you all of your secrets. Like it's, it's very simple. It doesn't happen in most places. The only place you can really get a better return is by investing in yourself. Right? If you invest in yourself, like, oh, crap. My exit is closed. Oh, that's annoying. To get here. Um, what I'm probably to do is loop to loop. Oh, it's annoying. So I, I um, I'm gonna have to do one, two, three. Oh, it's annoying. I hope the ramp's not closed on the other side. Uh, sorry, I was already pretty late for this thing, so I'm like even more late. It's like, oh, it's not what I needed. That ramp is closed? How is that ramp closed? What is this? Give me one second. Yeah, and it's just like, so so doing that. The other thing that we talked about is because she's like, oh, that's a lot of money. It's like, okay, that's I know twenty thousand dollars at one time sounds like a lot of money. So in order to kind of get it fixed, we had to take like exit one seventy. Sorry if you can hear like the directions. Um yeah, it's just one of those things. Um, cause in I a quarter mile, use the right lane to turn right onto West Six Mile Road. Six Mile Road. Both of the exits that I. Uh, yeah, you might hear some like some uh, Google Maps directions. Both the exits I would usually take. 
um, are closed. Very strange. Never had that happen before. Um, but, like, it never had it happen, like, while we're going to this new uh, studio. It's a new studio. Um, the old one, like, kind of, like, merged and, like, uh, went to a different one. So, that, you're still getting used to those, like, uh, you know, patterns of traffic. But, uh, yeah. So, we, we basically showed, okay, if you can go and basically, you know, cut your lead cost by 25%, number one, and then if you can, like, just improve your metrics, it's going to really even itself out so that your cost per client should be about $500 or less. Ideally, it would be about $350 to $500, right? Now, now sometimes when you hear me talk about advertising, guys, you might even say, like, your, your cost per client will be anywhere between, like, $450 to, like, $2,000 or $2,500. That's just the range I've seen online. It's, like, people that are... That are really beginner levels your cost per client can be a lot higher but as you get better and better at like working leads having a better process that cost will actually go down right so it's like for for most beginners if you're just doing this on your own you've never ran an ad before you've never you've never been in that space or understand that kind of process like it, i would not run an advertisement like you just don't have the prerequisite skill sets or understanding to be able to do it Right, you're gonna be the person that spends two thousand dollars, maybe gets one client, maybe doesn't get a client, and it's just like it's just a waste of money, in my opinion. Um, when you're starting out at that point, right? In her case, it's different because she has someone that spends hundreds of thousands of dollars a year on advertising. Like, that's what I do, like, I'm an advertiser. I'm doing less and less advertising now that I'm like better and better, like, marketing because like my budgets actually go down a little bit. Um, very, very interesting. My goal by the end of like the next year is to like almost have every everything that comes to me be on or on organic marketing. That's just like free or low cost methods done via like videos or written content. So it's gonna be a very interesting kind of thing, right? Because I'm actually I'm actually for my mentorship program, I'm going to be taking on less clients probably next year and the year after, but I'm only taking on clients that are like that super, super want to, like, work for me, right? Because then I can, like, spend even more time with them, right? Because, like, in, as you guys know in the past, like, we've cut it down to, like, it used to be where um, we would only accept, like, 10 people per month. So right now what I'm going to be doing is I'm actually going to be getting even more, like, um, even more exclusive with the program. Not necessarily, raise, I'm not talking about, like, raising the price or anything, but just, like, really focusing on, like, a couple people um, per month that I'm going to be, like, working with, right? So I, I really kind of like the aspect of, like, coaching mixed with like small group coaching because like a lot of times like what you're going to see is like on the internet it's going to be like a lot of guys and they have like coaching programs there's like you, you join the program there's like a hundred people sitting inside the zoom room that's no fun right because you're like sitting in line like waiting for them to go i never wanted my program to be like that even if i didn't make quite as much money as some of those other programs it wasn't really a problem like, like money is not like my main driver when it comes to the mentorship program um because i mean there's a lot of other and different ways to make money um than just like doing like one-on-one -on -one mentoring Right, so my program is kind of a hybrid. It's like a mixture of like a course, it's a mixture of one-on-ones, a mixture of group coaching, just kind of depending like where the person's at. Um, but yeah, yeah. So it's gonna just be like strictly like I think like YouTube's gonna be the main way I get um, mentorship students, and then also um, probably like LinkedIn. I'm probably just gonna like do like written posts on LinkedIn or whatever. There's some cool things that I'm actually thinking about when it comes to that. Like, how to uh, make better content faster. So, I'm kind of, like, working in, like, like kind of in the behind-the-scenes things. But, yeah, I definitely want to kind of, like, turn down how much I spend per, per year on, on ads. And it's not anything, like, bad with ads, right? I do think that advertising has its place and its time. It's just, I don't know, there's, there's like, certain things I'm trying to do. And, like, and like when, you, when you do more content-based marketing, which, again, is harder to do. It's way harder to get clients via, like, a YouTube video or via, like, a written post, right? Um, it's way harder. But the cool thing about it is that the people that actually watch your videos or read your content, they really want to work with you. Like, really want to work with you. Like, it's like a five-minute conversation. So what it allows me to do is it allows me to actually, like, do have more free time, but still be able to, like, work with better quality people, so it's, it's very kind of interesting mix, and again, it's kind of an example of doing what's hard, so your life is easy, right, it's so funny just, like, just thinking about that concept just, like, always kind of plays out in different, like, ways in my life, 
always about that. So, you know, I don't know. It's 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 an easy life. It's a fun life. It's you just have to just do it right. You know, if you do things right, nothing's hard. Nothing, nothing in this world's hard. Now, that's within reason. Like, I'm not telling you, like, oh, I'm just gonna go make a billion dollars tomorrow. I'm not saying that. What I'm saying that is, if your goal is, if it's a reasonable goal, and you're willing to put in the time and put in the work to go and achieve it, nothing's impossible. All right, cool. Well, hey guys, I will talk to you soon, okay? I just reached my destination. Ugh. Lando. Do, 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 do.